All right, all right, all right. How's everyone doing? This is how I'm going to stream today with my glasses from the future. It's like two layer virtual, like augmented reality, like X ray and uh, I don't know. <sighs> Maybe not. Good morning, Koru. Yeah, I'm Cyclops. So today it's going to be comfort zone. It's number 90. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. 1,314 followers. Good morning, Atsuki. Hey, Schmeiz. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I had my extra cool bat Ray Bans on. You know. Hey, good morning, Nefas. <laughs> all right. So it's it's covered zone number ninety. Not going to be any topics. Kuru sent this artist's cool work um, Discord today. Uh, really made me f be inspired by it. Really like nice style. The links on uh, in the Discord in the inspiration. But it's a really nice style. Uh, I think I'll be doing something that like that. Uh, obviously not like that, like that artist, but uh, it definitely got my inspiration flowing. So uh, with any further ado, let's start the timer. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is obviously do some sort of just character, uh, whatever. I'm not going to try too much to, to imitate that artist that I saw. But just something in a similar vein, but uh, something that just comes out of my head rather than uh, thinking about that artist too much. But the process was intriguing. I was I, I was kind of looking at how this artist painted, and I can see that it, he uses colors in the background and paints on top, um, and also layers the light early on. I think. Because the style is very expressive, um, it does have good light, but that kind of light, much like um, Pelling, I think this artist Daniel, uh, what was his name? Um, now the Daniel Kamar Kamarudin Kamarudin. Um, Like, um, I think layers a lot with overlay or color dodge. I th so I think I'll, I'll, I'll experiment a little bit with that and see um, what, what kind of stuff that sits in my mind, what I can do with kind of not imitating his style, but you know, just by, by memory. Um, try to reverse engineer kind of what it looks like. I don't have it uh, visible uh, on the second monitor at all. Um, hey, Lurib, good morning. Hey, Tcom Princess, welcome. So like I said today, comfort zone, going to be experimenting a little bit, definitely not comfort zone per se, because I'm doing a different process, um, but I'm not taking any topics today, and I kind of want to see like what can you get out of it with the base. Um, 
early on by by just kind of using overlays and kind of making the painting complex before anything before I start defining things and um, kind of defining a lot of decisions early on um, might be interesting uh, but like I said this is all just kind of testing to see how how can I um, kind of get a complex base like that other artist had and I think I think I am onto something but that's a little bit tricky to know yet but it feels like that if we if I think back at the art it had this weird glow to it which a lot of Asian artists um, have right they have this glow this layering uh, like color dodge or uh, definitely color dodge and less uh, what's it called a la prima is that what it's called when you just put one color down and don't touch the brush anymore Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to picture some of his uh, paintings in my mind and, uh, and like zooming in a bit on, on edges and how some of the paintings, they have like very saturated reds in the edges of the darks, almost like uh, he had a red base and painted on top of it. So that's a little bit what I'm kind of trying to 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 do myself, um, just kind of, you know, um, I feel like I'm saying kind of a lot at the moment, but um, I'm, uh, I'm testing, testing things out and seeing what comes out. Let's flip the image. It's kind of it's kind of getting there. So warm light, cool shadows. All right. That decision is made. Let's put some pool of light on on a face. Something something face here. Hey Quiba. Hey Zealin. Hey Sofa Strangler. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so you don't uh, dry the layers in between. You just paint in one go, right? Hey Angry Sausage. You made it. Welcome. I'd say a good the good uh, warm-ups. Um, and sketches you're posting on Discord. Fun to see, and uh, Sofa as well. Sofa Strangler, you've been uh, you've been really uh, stepping up. I can see a lot of uh, progress and, and comfort. I think the biggest difference is comfort in your work and comfort in your uh, process, which is which is great to see. It's like you're having fun, almost finally. Like it shows that. Um, I think the biggest difference that shows is that you can step away from something <clears throat> while uh, like from a sketch that's not finished but the things that you've established like when it comes to brush marks and 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 thought and so on is 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 strong enough to kind of step away from which is cool to see you know it shows more confidence and and, and just enjoying enjoyment rather than struggle which is really fun to see. I don't know if, if, if you find that yourself, but I, I can see it in your art at least. 
which is really good. The angriest of all sausages, yes. Oh no, angry sausage. Sleep is important. Last night I was uh, <clears throat> I was painting, not painting. Why well, I was in painting? Uh, I was working more on my lecture and kind of thinking back on on, on some of my streams and uh, what I've been saying. And uh, it dawned on me I've been I've been talking a lot about uh, interesting things. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm tooting my own horn here. No, but. My point being is that, like, there's a lot of, you know, if, if you just listen to each talk, uh, like my rambles, it's a lot of random topics. It's not, like, cohesive through each talk. But if you go back and listen kind of in the right order, there is a lot of, uh, there is a thread there. But it's, it's a, like a thought process depending on, like, what I've been doing, what I've been thinking about day by day changes, but there's an overarching like thought narrative that I kind of have been brewing on because of, of I know I'm going to have to do a lecture and my, I decided quite early on that it's going to be about creativity. And it's been, I've been touching the subject now and then quite a lot when it, when, it, when I start thinking about like what I've actually been saying what I actually been thinking about to try to communicate on on my warm-ups and so on I think there is quite a lot of things to listen to from over well this is the second year now I'm doing the daily streams um, I should really check the anniversary like when I've done the two-year anniversary we need to check YouTube when I uploaded or actually the save file um, of the uh, first stream I started earlier with the actual warm-ups at work. Uh, that we did before I decided to stream them. Uh, we did lots of like studies. We challenged each other and so on. Um, but the first stream, I gotta look up when that actually was. I think I uploaded a lot of movies at one go at the beginning. Like every Friday, I uploaded a lot of movies. So that's not the correct date if you look at if I'm gonna go look at YouTube. So I gotta go and um, look at the backup drive where it say what the actual record date or creation created date for the um, file. But yeah, it's fun. I really enjoy. Uh, I really enjoy these uh, streams and hanging out with all of you and rambling. There's a lot of rambling. <laughs> yeah. But I also what what I find really cool is seeing everyone's progress. I think that's one of the the nicest things. Especially after I started the Discord and uh, having people join in the daily challenges or the bi weekly challenge, the two week challenge. 
Oh, it's really cool. I'm happy to see new faces as well. Uh, almost now, every day, there's uh, one or two new people, which is, which is really nice. And uh, I think what's even better is how everyone is so um, helpful, appreciative, <laughs> that word, and, um, and welcoming. I think that's, that's great. I think it's a, we, are, we are crafting a good atmosphere on the Discord. It's a good community. I'm, I'm proud of you guys and girls, obviously, but guys, that's a broad term of not me. Hey, dear Bart. Hey, De Dev Burmark. Um, I don't have a bot, so I don't think you can do that apostrophe Discord, but the Discord link is underneath the stream. Just click the Discord logo or the link underneath. Uh, that's something I should probably have as well, some sort of marketing uh, bot on the stream that says, hey, follow, blah, 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 link here. You know, things like that. But I don't. It's to come, though. But little by little, I'm a working man. I don't have enough. I don't have so much time to to, to uh, set everything up all perfectly. I gotta make some some money to my family. But yeah, I think this process is interesting. Like with me playing with layer settings, I th which I know I don't use usually. Um, this layer setting to to help boost like color complexity, brush complexity, all in 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 attempt to try to mimic that uh, kind of that that artist Daniel Puma or something. Kama, Kama rooted. It's a very nice style. I, I, I appreciate that style a lot. Uh, he's obviously not very unique in his style. There's this is typically Asian artists that has that, but regardless, it's a nice it's a nice style. And. Uh, we can all learn from that, I think. This kind of the way they have such complex brushworks. And I think this process, which I'm experimenting with now, is uh, something that I, I quite enjoy. Um, this is me not knowing what I'm doing. Uh, kind of comfort zone, just designing something on the fly, playing with the colors and so on. But I think I got a go through the layers afterwards and see what the process was really. I think I am on to some some new branch of, of painting, which this style I really enjoy. I feel like this is a new step for me, which, which has been growing. And I definitely want to use these layer settings again because I feel quite comfort comfortable in them. And I, I'm glad that I decided to do this experiment because now I, I feel like um, it's a little bit of a missing link, which I've found. Uh, and, and the reason why I'm saying that is the textural and, and, and color complexity that's easily lost by, by doing um, the process is easily lost when you're doing a lot of production work. And you, you and this kind of brush brushwork and stuff is not very appreciated uh, most of the times. So they mostly geared towards illustrations. But I don't know, I'm I'm digging it. This is something I want to experiment more with. So thanks Kuru for the link and the inspiration boost of this artist. Um, You've done your good deed of the day. Now you can go and uh, get drunk at <laughs> 10 in the morning. You're done for the day. Just put the pen aside, 
step away from the computer, you're done. Tomorrow is, is you can go and think about your next good deed, but today you're a star for you. So we're halfway approximately. I kind of like the. It's a, the palette and the brushwork is a little bit shitty. Uh, like the, if you look at the underneath the uh, the chat window, obviously you can't see it. But if you if you step back a little bit, the, there's a lot of like blobby brush marks, which doesn't look that good. But those things are easy to fix. It's not very smooth uh, the way the brushes, brush marks have been done in the background. It's, they're quite annoying. Uh, but uh, it's because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm experimenting. But uh, yeah, I, I like it. I like the way this is heading. Let's try color burn with kind of greenish gray because I, I wanted the reason why I chose color burn is because I want to darken this corner a bit so that the knife pops out of it and also a little bit stronger rhythm of uh, shadow and light I feel that it's it's lost a bit now that it just becomes dirty uh, not going to try to push that further, but let's see. Let's see what happens with color bird. Mm, not super keen on it. Let's let's leave it. Yeah, I love uh, doing these warm-ups uh, and experimenting with uh, the approach. It's going to be a part of my my lecture at IFCC. Um, it's just going to be a small part of it, but one of the things I'm going to be talking about is that the like important of uh, importance of having safe spaces, uh, not the the justice warrior kind, but um, but uh, creative safe spaces where where you are allowed to test things and and uh, fail, you know, and think about things. What if? What if? Because if you don't, you're too scared to 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 ch change something dramatically, and drastically, and and uh, potentially you're losing a uh, completely, completely new style and, and, uh, and more, most importantly, like enjoyment. So a part of the talk is going to be about that and, and how to, how to uh, do that and, and uh, why and uh, some theory about it, and, and and then other parts of the talk is going to be about other things. But I think it will be good.
Kodesh Lurib. Lurib, yeah. <clears throat> and make sure you sleep. And uh, time management. Put time aside for not doing anything else but your work. And then take a break and step away for a while. Uh, because if you, <clears throat> uh, what I've what I've figured out is that if you you if you try too hard, you're going to hit a wall where you sit and spend time doing something slower than if you would walk away, recharge, refocus, and then come back and do it like come focus then completely. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to do it half-assed for a long time. So it's better to step away, do it, and go come back and do it really correctly, focused for a shorter time. Um, that's my experience with it. And don't don't um, don't spend time doing things that you don't need to do, like Facebook. Set the time for it. After four hours of hard focused work. Uh, you know, you allow yourself to go to Facebook, go pee, whatever, <laughs> and then sit down with the next chunk of time and don't do anything else but, um, you know, hard, hard focused work uh, is the most efficient way to do it if you tell yourself that I, you, can, you can procrastinate or do something else after. And so, and also not so that you sit eight hours straight because no one can focus for eight, eight hours straight. You need breaks. It's important to have breaks. Lurib. Um, sure, I can. I can add some. Hey, Sayert, welcome. Hey, Captain Jetlag. Good morning, you fantastic person. You. <laughs> Glad to see you here. Like now, I, I feel like the biggest problem is grays. Like there's not enough grays in here. It's very all very red. Um, so that's something I would probably spend time adding some greens and grays to kind of balance out the the overall boosted temperature of it. And I feel like it's lacking. It's lacking a little bit of. Um, focal point at the moment like we need to land obviously uh, land on the face it's a bit too many d blacks in the on the kind of lit side the shape isn't very striking the arm is weird um, I felt from early on the hands were off and I just didn't change it it's a, it is what it is. But uh, as an experiment, I'm happy with the experiment. And these things hanging, I'm, I'm really annoyed by. Hey, traumatage. Blue smoke, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna, I mean, obviously, complementary colors are are important. But it's lacking a little bit of um, the style. This way of sketching was good. I think, like I said, I will definitely experiment more with it. I think it's a matter of. Um, finding the point where you need to slow down uh, obviously doing it in 30 minute 
warm up um, trying to focus on doing uh, painting where maybe you need to take a step back and think a little bit before you make a brush stroke um, probably isn't the best idea now to do um, but having to have a higher pace um, you know make more more conscious brush marks um, but it's uh, for the time being I think it's a good good experiment um, and, and I, I'm happy that I did it But like I said, obviously there's it's the idea of it that I like, not the actual painting. The painting could be better. I can give him some blue blue cool eyes. I think that'll help with the focal point. Hey, Lertl, Lertl007. Oh, thanks. Yeah, the scarf uh, definitely helps uh, with the shapes. Uh, Dear Bard, it's uh, an artist that uh, Kuru linked on um, ArtStation or on the Discord, which is Daniel uh, Kamarudin. I like the style, the way he uses paint and so on. Uh, so I'm kind of keying off that, by, but not looking at the ref at a, or, or him, his art, but just kind of in my mind. No worries, Lurib. We all know that you, you really want to get in, so... Don't no don't feel like you need to apologize for, for asking for help, especially when people are offering to help. So don't stress about it. It's all good. And uh, we also know that after this crunch time, you're gonna um, you're gonna have less um, pressure and you're gonna come back, start you know going back to normal so don't don't worry just focus on on getting your portfolio up to snuff and then uh, and then you can relax and come back to normality we're here for you the warm up crew Uh, Lou Rib, I'm not looking at all at this artist uh, at the moment, this Daniel artist. I'm, I'm kind of just thinking about his process in my mind. And uh, I looked at it earlier when uh, Kuru, um, Kuru linked it on Discord. Uh, it's under inspiration. I looked at it and I, uh, I was kind of trying to reverse engineer how, how he paints and how these Asian paint, painters do it. And I got inspired. And uh, I thought, uh, as it's comfort zone day, uh, oh, time's up. Um, as it's comfort zone day, I thought uh, I should experiment with process and try to kind of imitate this layered brush style that they have, like bloomy light and so on. Um, and uh, I'm not saying that I got to his style, but uh, I figured some, some parts out, which I'm happy with, I'm going to keep exploring. I think uh, I, I found something that I'm really happy with when it comes to approach. So I think I'm going to start, this is the uh, next uh, series of paintings is going to be about this process, I think. Next couple of warm-ups are going to be about um, the process. See what I can get out of it. All right, time's up. Can't be painting anymore.
Uh, thanks everyone for coming. Have a fantastic weekend. Uh, I might do a Saturday stream. I don't know yet. Uh, have a fantastic day. Um, yeah, Lertle. Every morning I stream for 30 minutes. So this is a 30 minute warm up. If you want to go look at all the other streams, they are in the YouTube archive underneath. The, the YouTube channel is updated daily. I do this stream daily at the exact same time. Um, so if you like what you're seeing, you click follow. If YouTube, you click subscribe and turn on notifications and you will always get notifications when I stream. But it's daily stream, working days and same time, exact same time every day. Uh, usually what I do is also I ask for uh, uh, topics from you guys. But every fifth one, they even numbered like 1995, uh, I uh, do a comfort zone one, which is uh, just do what I want. Um, but anyways, thanks everyone for coming. Have a fantastic weekend. Um, see you Monday morning. Uh, have a, yeah, bye. <laughs> I'll draw.